So we know that so we know that arrays can contain a number of items, but we can also provide indexes for those items in the array. So let's go through an example and create a very simple array called postcodes of type array. And rather than just having a simple list, what we're going to do inside here is provide a sort of key value. So let's say, for example, a postcode that starts with L is Liverpool. And we can use this additional operator to associate L with Liverpool. Want to add another one in? Okay, so let's do that again. So we'll say NE for Newcastle. And we'll do another one as well for, for Sunderland. All right, so we've got a simple array with three items in, but this acts as a key, an identifier, and this is the value. All right, so we'll save that. And we'll use the variable dump command to show the contents of that array. So we're gonna dump out the contents of postcodes. So let's save that file and fire that up in the web browser. And there we go. So the array contains three items. Here's its key and there's its value and so on. Now you'll come across arrays that look a little bit like this when we work with loops and again, when we work with databases. So don't be too confused by it. It's a simple array. We're just providing a, an identifier and the value in the array. And if we wanted to access a specific item in the array, then we can use the key lookup to do that. So let's do that. Echo our postcodes array, square bracket, and then let's say we were looking for L. All right, semicolon, save that. Back over to our browser and press refresh and Liverpool is presented. So what we've done there is we've asked the array, show me the contents of L. So it comes to the array, finds L, and that's the value. So that's using arrays with data values. They're sometimes referred to as keys, and the important point to note is this becomes a unique identifier for the value in the array.